Drop it. Welcome back, guys. In today's episode, we're going to be doing... Well, Black Ops 3, the Wolf Bow walkthrough. It hasn't got no audio, but I will be putting a bit of music in. Um, right, first one, location. You go to your right in the spawn to do the first step, which is getting 10 kills per dragon. And as soon as we've done that, we will be... We'll move to the second step. So what you want to do in this area, you want to be very careful. Especially early rounds with no jug or anything. It, you can get down, so you got to be really careful. So what I'm doing now, I'm just like... Um, killing them basically to feed the dragon. As you can see, it's uh, just got filled up. Once it happens, it'll disappear. Second location, guys, of the dragon head is in the church. You don't have to do it like the way I'm doing it. But it just works out a lot quicker. Because you want to get the two lethal ones done first, which is in the church and the just near quick revive. Because they're the two worst ones and you can die pretty easy. So, what you want to do is wait for these to be filled up. It, they'll make a noise anyway, guys. Um, if the once they get full up. So yeah, that happens and then they like crumble up. So next step, guys, is the undercroft or something. I think it's called that. Uh, you want to activate the the pyramid for the step of the wolf bow as well. You can't do it with the lightning bow as well, but it will be coming up soon in the video for me uh, for me to talk about it and what you got to do. So it's full up. Just going to show you the bow now, which is the wrath of the Asians. You want that, right? Step two, guys, which is going to be the portraits. I do do the pyramid uh, after the portrait. So the pyramid, it goes knight, uh, horse. No, it goes knight, horse. Knight, horse, mountain, arrows. They spawn in the lighthouse. It One's in the lighthouse, one's in the church, up these stairs. One's uh, in Samantha's room and one's... You know where quick revive is, you go through that door for 750 and it's right to the top, uh, like on the wall. You want to head to that one. If you if you do incorrect sequence, it'll like make a noise. If it makes the correct sequence, it'll stay there hollow as two wolf heads. So I'm heading to the second one. Uh, they are known to move about like they're all at the same locations every single game but they're not always guaranteed f for let's say night to be let's say there it's not guaranteed to be there all the time it might move into the lighthouse on a different playthrough so what we're going to do guys is we're going to the last bit which is the arrows you can get a bit confused because there is one what's got arrows in it, but the guys also want a horse, so you've got to be careful with them too. But yeah, we're going to head up here, activate this, why not? Then we're going to head back up to the death fray, into the lighthouse to activate the last one. I did actually get up to 30, because I were just doing this video for... You know, just to show you guys how to do the wolf bow, but I actually managed to get up to uh, round 30. Uh, I got, my highest is 39. Uh, so the last one, guys, for the last step of step two, you go down to the bottom and wait this wall here. It'll come out with a wolf like bow. It'll make a, like a wolf howl. Right, step three, guys, is 
going in to get the shoot this flag I did mess up on this one this one can take as you can see here there's like a little flag there you want to shoot that as you can see I'm doing terrible at it um, I actually missed quite a few shots <laughs> I think I got down to 30 something ammo uh, about 33 I believe um, so you'll have to bear with me I do get it eventually but yeah th this one could be a bit tricky especially if you've got like a zombie or two after you and if you haven't got the shield on you, well, <laughs> you're pretty dead. So, this is where I like get a bit scared because I think I'm about to go down. As you can see, I panicked a little bit, wasted, wasted one of my arrows on purpose. I get it in this shot. No, this shot, sorry. Oh, how many shots? Here we go. Yeah. So it'll roll down like this wolf skull, uh, glowing in blue. Uh, it'll be land on this floor here. You pick that up, take it back into the undercroft um, where the wolf bow like thing is. So I find it better to go back through the teleporter because you're going to spawn in the undercroft again. So. Now we're spawned back in there, we want to head back to the, like the pyramid. If you're not sure how to activate this, so I didn't, I cut this out, sorry about this. So if you want to activate, uh, the skull's here, you want to activate it on the second to the right skull. Uh, step four guys is where we're going to fill the soul holes up uh, with the uh, zombie souls. But yeah, as I was saying guys, you want to stand on each of the squares around the pyramid to activate. But it's really good. Um, you got to be very careful. Try and get a crawler. If not, just be really careful. So the first one is just in the courtyard. The second one is uh, if you go through the right bottom door of Quit Revive. Um, where the gondola is you pretty much go right there and it's just you know where that red bit is where that uh, truck is it's uh, the second one's there and the last one's where that pack punch uh, where pack punch can spawn in the undercroft and then you got to do uh, a wall run and stuff but that's in the next step see uh, it will take 10 souls uh, to fill a soul hole up and it'll also take 10 souls, well 10 zombies to fill up uh, each dragon as well. So when you get to them dragons guys you need to... Like I did have to do this like as a two part because I died on the first dragon head after completing it so I had to start it, start a new one and uh, I managed to get to 30. So the second location guys is, I'm not sure how to say like where it is, it's just near, just, just past Quit Revive, well not past it but you're to the right hand side on that gate what you can open. So it's just past that, uh, well before the gate, what you can open for a thousand. You have to be careful when you're going with the uh, wolf because he can, if you're straight too far he will disappear, you just go back to uh, the skull, reactivate. So here guys you've got to be really careful because it's quite close uh, proximity. So just use your arrow or haymaker if you've got it to clear it out. So yeah, we're doing we're doing this, clearing this out very nicely. It will drop like um, a carcass, like some ribs or something. You pick them up, all good to the next spot. So we're going to the undercroft. He does walk quite slow, so you have to be like me. I'm sticking with him, but it's best to have shield with you. is doing this last soul hole and then we'll be starting step four
see you. As the one before the gate guard, you gotta be really careful on this bit. It is really lethal, this area. Because sometimes you don't know what you're doing, so... Um, like, first, I was like... I died quite a lot of times on this little bit, but... The, the anti-gravity is really helpful. See, the wolf's done now, we'll start to bury, and then... You've gotta be careful picking up the bones. See, I missed... I thought I missed that, so... Last step, guys is the wolf will like start to pour up this bit as you can see I looked up there and there's like a, a symbol of two wolf heads you want to wait for this anti-gravity as you will see I will be waiting around for about five ten minutes not ten minutes but it can take about five minutes about two minutes actually it's the launch pad if you wait for the launch pad uh, the rocket to go it's about five ten minutes so yeah, as you can see, I'm just like, oh, let's just look. But yeah, once we're doing this bit, we will... This bit, the next bit's actually quite hard, this bit. Some people might do it once, uh, like first try straight away. Um, like I did actually have a panic situation where I'm like, I thought I missed it, like all the way through. So when it happens, I think it does happen now I believe yeah <laughs> what time right so you wall run on these you gotta watch it because the zombie might come out you shoot it like this see I missed it and I tried to get back on wall I managed to but um, so if you miss it just head back up and do the wall run again this time I did get and I was actually lucky you shoot that uh, this some people were shooting inside you don't do that you shoot at the top of where the you shoot at the two wolf heads and you land on the platform in Old Square uh, to get the bow. And this is actually the final stages, guys. Is basically you hold Square, it'll give you a max ammo automatically on any bow that you do. You've just got to fill this up with souls. I think it takes more than 10 souls, uh, this one. I do find it best to do. Uh, a train and then use the just the wrath of the Asians to do multiple souls at, at one time. Once you've uh, done charged it up, you just put your bow in and uh, actually you just put your bow in once it's all completed and then you basically wait for it to like upgrade it. And then the bow's yours. See, as you can see, I'm doing this on round 13. I can do it about round 8. But if you want to play safely, you do want it. You want your perks. You want Jug and probably Quit Revive before you even attempt to do the Wolf Bow. I mean, you can do it really easy. As you can see, I panicked a little bit there because... It is a bit dangerous down here. It's a, actually a decent train. Right, the, the wolf bow, I'm upgrading it now, guys. And this is near the end of the step. There we go, guys. You got your wolf bow, and congratulations. If you like this, hit the follow button. Uh, hit the sub button. And leave me a like and comment down below. And if you want to see some more episodes, I'd appreciate it.